Just recently, I had a client from Boston who told me that they could not believe that they're having this much trouble buying a house in Northern Colorado for $500,000, a half a million dollars. Just two years ago, the median sales price was $450,000. Fast forward to today, and we're reaching about $550,000. So I thought, what better way to tell people, give people perspective if they're looking at moving into Fort Collins or Northern Colorado from out of state, maybe a place they've never, maybe just read about or seen, and give them perspective of what you can buy in Northern Colorado and Fort Collins specifically for half a million dollars. What's up everybody? This is Patrick Sukup with Sukup Real Estate Services here in Fort Collins, Colorado. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing if what you're looking at doing is learning everything, eating, sleeping, playing, working, Fort Collins, Colorado. And if at the end of the video, you've enjoyed the content, give it a thumbs up, comment, engage, interact. Thanks so much. Now, as much as we like making these real estate videos for YouTube, we like more working with buyers, sellers, and investors for all their real estate needs here in Northern Colorado and Fort Collins. So if you're considering re relocating, give me a call, text, email, whatever it is, I've got your back when it comes to moving, investing, selling here in Northern Colorado. Without any further delay, let's jump into today's video about what you can buy for half a million dollars in Fort Collins, Colorado. Enjoy. Alrighty, so just over about six to seven months ago, my sister and I, we were looking at a house for them, a uh, kind of a move up house. They've got two kids that are gonna be beast monsters. They're gonna be huge. So they're looking at buying a bigger house. And we were looking at Windsor, Colorado. And our top dollar price point was about a half million dollars, maybe 525, but really we didn't wanna exceed $500,000. And we wish, we wish we had a crystal ball. We could reverse time, go back and buy all of those houses for $500,000. Well, cause now they're about $550,000. And it's just, it's not depressing by any means. It's just the different market. You know, we are entering a different market, hopefully a little bit more stable. And the reason I say that is because supply issues are beginning to figure themselves out. Lumber, is at a fraction of the cost that it was just a month ago. It's still double what it was about a year ago, but the supply chains are sorting themselves out. I'm recording this at the end of June, and I don't suspect that these supply issues, new construction issues will be resolved for probably another three or four months. So we're really gonna be looking into 2022 before inventory figures itself out. And ultimately, inventory is what is driving the issue, not just in Fort Collins, but across the United States. When we only have less than a month's supply of inventory, historically six months is healthy, but we have a less than, than one month of inventory, meaning that if no other properties came onto the market, it would take us, I think it's a half month, one half of a month, to clear out the inventory that is currently on the market. That is what the demand is. And we used to be able to rely on new construction to kind of pick up the pace for all of this demand. Well, now that the new construction had the supply issues and materials and labor issues, they've kind of slowed down things. So inventory has been even more crunched across the United States, but including here in Fort Collins. So in Fort Collins, what can you buy on the market for $500,000. Well, that's gonna be a four bed, three bath, two car garage built 1984 to 1987, about on a 7,400 square foot lot. That's about 0.17 acres. And you're gonna have about 23 to 2,400 square feet total on that house. And you're gonna be paying, that rounds out to about 205 to $220 per square foot. So if you're considering moving to Fort Collins and your budget is $500,000, do those specifications match what you're looking for? Now, 
obviously for real estate is always location, 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 right? If you're gonna be in the middle of Old Town Square or m middle of Old Town and close to close to Old Town Square, well, that price per square foot's gonna go up, your specs are gonna go down and you're still gonna be spending $500,000, but you're probably gonna be at a, about a thousand square feet, still on a 7,500 square foot lot. But as you move outwards, a little bit removed, specifically if you went to Wellington or east to Timnus, now Timnus is a little expensive, but to Windsor, south to Loveland, you could see a little bit more bang for your buck. But that's just what it's gonna take for you to buy a house in Fort Collins, if that's what your specifications are. Can you find a six bedroom house? Absolutely. Can you also find a two bedroom house for that same $500,000? maybe, but probably, you know, probably you can still find houses between three to $400,000. Now I'm working with clients at all different price points, you know, between 350 to 400, there's a little bit of single family available there, but you're probably going to be more condo townhome type opportunities. So set your expectations, set your perspectives, you know, where they need to be. Now, if you're looking at buying a house here in Northern Colorado and you have a half million dollars to spend, you're going to need to move quick. The homes that are on the market are only lasting 35 days. And how we measure days on market in Fort Collins in Northern Colorado is from the day that it goes on to the day that it closes. And I can tell you on average, these contracts are gonna be about 28 to 35 days when they go under contract. That means they're only on the market for anywhere from, you know, zero days to five days before going under contract. It just shows the demand. Now, there are opportunities out there for you to get a good home for a good value, and whether you're gonna put some sweat equity into it or you know, make some sacrifices, aka maybe you're gonna have one less bedroom or one less bathroom and you're gonna build into a bathroom or you're gonna finish the basement. There are opportunities out there like that. That being said, you're going to want to understand the dynamics of putting offers on a property here in Fort Collins that are at a half million dollars. If you're gonna offer on a property here in Fort Collins, they're end at $500,000, you should expect to pay about a four and a half percent premium. So if your budget's $500,000, you need to be offering on properties that are about $480,000. Yes, you can find properties that sell for list price. In fact, I'm under contract on two of them and I'm grateful for that. They were opportunities, we snagged them, we were quick, picked them up. But you'll also find properties that go for 16 to 25% above list price. And we're talking about a half a million dollars. So that's roughly about $100,000 if you're talking 20%. I can't imagine going in and looking at a house that's listed for $500,000 and then see it end at $600,000. I don't expect that to go on forever. Like we've discussed, Fort Collins and the rest of the United States will figure out its supply issue on new construction, which will then relieve the existing build market. Just a little bit. But I do expect that to go on for probably the next six to 12 months, if not longer. So we will definitely have to see. So if you're looking at buying a house for half a million dollars here in Fort Collins, Colorado, that's what you're gonna get. 2,500, 2,400 square feet, four bed, three bath, two car garage, built between 1984 to 1987 on about a 7,400 square foot lot. It's a beautiful home. I took some pictures that are gonna show you, you know, four different properties that sold within Fort Collins. And they're not gonna be the, the most spectacular, they're not gonna be huge, massive, but they're gonna be clean, safe properties that you could raise your family in and expect that 5% appreciation moving forward. I don't necessarily expect a 25% appreciation year over year like we've seen over the last 12 months, but Fort Collins since the 1970s has averaged about 5.5%. So if you're looking at buying versus renting or $500,000 is your price point, hopefully this video has given you some information to help you make a better decision for you and yours when relocating here to Northern Colorado. Again, as much as we like making these real estate videos, we like more working with buyers, sellers, investors for all the real estate needs here in Fort Collins. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, comment, engage, interact. Appreciate you guys watching. Until next time, guys, take care.